What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, only one KDB, and I'm back with another video. In today's video, bro, we got Beyonce slammed Jay Z for embarrassing her. Diddy calls out Jay Z for uninviting him from Grammys. But well, we finna get to the video, bro. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Turn on that post notification bell so you're notified when I drop another banger, bro. I know this video was dropped five days ago, bro, but I'm back, bro. I'm releasing all the videos that. You know what I'm saying? That I missed, bro. I missed out on a lot, bro. I've been gone for about five, six days. I was sick. You know what I'm saying? What's understood don't got to be explained. I already told y'all what was going on, fam. But anyway, we finna get to this video, bro. Y'all boys ready? I'm ready. Let's get it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Straight grind mode, fam. We ain't lighting up, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm back now. Child, Beyonce got kanye again. This time by her husband, Jay-Z. And a Remember when Taylor Swift won the award and uh, Kanye West got on stage and was like, I just want to let y'all know Beyonce had one of the great <laughs> Taylor Swift was looking. Yeah, she was sick, bro. I'd have been sick too. Like, bro, God, you going to interrupt my speech? And when Taylor Swift got album of the year at the Grammys for yeah. the fourth time. I don't want to embarrass this young lady, but she has more Grammys than everyone and never won album of the year. So even by your own metrics, that doesn't work. Think about that. I don't want to think Grammys, about it. Never won album of the year. That doesn't work. Um, I don't think it works like that, ho. But she also, got on a cowboy Jay -Z hat. He canceled his pre-Grammy party just to uninvite Diddy, and Diddy threatening to expose the Grammys and other people in the industry. Okay, before we. Brad, first of all, Diddy can't threaten to expose nobody, bro. All the times he didn't got exposed, everybody still talking about him in the industry. To all the parties he be having and shit like that. How the fuck he gonna expose somebody and they exposing him? So if he exposed, they gonna expose him even more, bro. How the fuck you going to expose somebody when you the most likely, bro, you, you can be exposed so bad, bro, it won't make sense, bro. I don't know, bro. To Diddy Madness, let's first break down how Jay left his wife feeling uncomfortable and why Beyonce is now feeling embarrassed. So Jay was accepting the Dr. Dre Global Impact Award established in 2023. And while okay. he accepted the award, he also took his time to call out the Grammys. And one of the things he said is that Bay is due for that Album of the Year award, which she has never- Who the fuck is Bay? Say, now I know that's Beyonce. Yeah, for reference, <laughs> Bay has been nominated for Album of the Year on five separate occasions. The first one was in 2000. What if I walk up to Beyonce and call her Bay? You think Jay-Z would get mad? If a nigga walk up to Beyonce and be like, what's up, bae? <laughs> like, how would he feel about that? That's that's a tough situation, but I just thought about that, bro. What if a nigga walk up to Beyonce, why Jay-Z right there, and be like, what's up, bae? He can't get mad because that's her name. Like, that's what people call her. So how you gonna get mad at that, bro? For <laughs> I am Sasha Fierce. Then a year later, That's as a feature crazy. artist on Lady Gaga's The Fame Monster. After that, she was nominated for Album of the Year in 2015. Then she got nominated for Lemonade in 2017. And the most okay. recent nomination was for Renaissance in 2023. According to some people, Lemonade in particular looked Yo, that like a Grammy should be rigged, Album bro. of the Year winner. I mean, we can all agree that Beyonce really ate when she explored the emotional impact of Jay-Z cheating on her to how she addressed generational pain as well as racial inequality. Let me not even start with how she blended right. genres using reggae, rock, hip hop, soul, funk, country, and electronica. And the accompanying visual album, yeah, that was insane. That year, Adele was the one who won album of the year. And in her acceptance okay. speech, the Adele also said that if there was one person who deserved album of the year, it was Bay. But I can't possibly accept this award. And I'm very humbled and I'm very grateful and gracious. But Adele from Germany? Where's Adele from? I gotta look that shit up. My artist of my life is Beyonce in this album for me. The Lemonade album was just look at Jay -Z. so monumental. Why you... <laughs> Beyonce, it was so monumental and so well thought out and so beautiful and soul bearing. And we all got to see another side to you that you don't always let us see. Oh, she from the UK or oh, she British? Bro, I can pull a girl talking like that, bro. I'm going to go on Monkey and try to talk British and see if I can pull somebody. I guarantee I can pull a female like that. Hey, how are you doing? I got to work with my UK accent, bro. I'm telling you, bro. That. Well, Jay-Z definitely agrees that his wife has been snubbed for far too long. And he made it clear that he believes Beyonce should have won Album of the Year at some point during her career. To a lot of people, including Jay-Z, it's ridiculous that even though Beyonce has over 38 30 nominations. Grammys, literally just one of her 32 Grammy wins has come in the Big Four category, which basically constitutes Album of the Year, Record of the Year, Song of the Year, and Best 
Best, Best New, New Artist. Artist. Single Ladies was Song of the Year in 2010, but other than that, all other wins have been in genre categories, which clearly isn't enough for her and Jay as well. Okay, I agree that it was smart for Jay to say what he said when Beyonce was not nominated for Album of the Year, you know, so it doesn't look like the others didn't deserve it. But it became a big deal because it so happens that Taylor Swift is the one who won Album of the Year again. Taylor Swift. Goes to... Taylor Swift. Also, the streets are saying that Taylor was such a disgrace for grabbing her Grammy from Celine Dion's hands without even looking at her or giving her a hug. People are saying that she should Damn. have acknowledged her appreciation for receiving it from her, especially given the fact that Celine was even... Y'all heard about the Taylor Swift 13 conspiracy? Nah, I'm a Swifty, bro. I just got, I just got uh, announced a Swifty two weeks ago, two, three weeks ago. Yeah, I'm a Swifty now. But, bro, that 13 shit is weird, friend. I ain't gonna lie, bro. She said she was born on December 13th, I believe. Her fucking album went gold 13 weeks. And 13 weeks, uh, what else? What else 13 related? She turned 13 on Friday the 13th. She just won her 13th Grammy. And she just went to her 13th Chiefs game. And they won a game from the 13 yard line. Man, that's some scary shit. I don't know what kind of voodoo and shit that they got going, man. What the? That's some well, scary to be shit. There I'm amidst not her about. immense struggles. Anyway, what I'm not focused fuck, on bro? that right now because I can't get past how Beyonce was just so. Well, y'all can't tell me that shit ain't weird, bro. But let's continue, bro. And people are going to think I have an agenda against Taylor. Given, of course, how Shout Kanye West Swift, though, once took the microphone from her hand oh, yeah, during an this. acceptance speech, told her he would let her finish, and said that Beyonce's Single Ladies video was one of the best videos of all time. <sighs> and while the Beehive may agree with Jay, there are I mean, it, it, it was. doesn't matter that Beyonce didn't win Album of the Year. For instance, Whoopi Goldberg said on The View that considering Beyonce has over 30 other Grammy wins, it doesn't really matter that she hasn't won this particular category. So I, I kind of appreciate all of that, and they're not for just one thing. Yes. So for me, she is, it doesn't matter if they give her mm. that Absolutely. album. I mean, album and, and, and listen, it's subjective. Yeah. Right. People are voting. Who y'all think should have won? Beyonce or Taylor? can't determine who's doing it unless you're the person vote, uh, voting. So I think, I think 38 is kind of not a, a terrible <laughs> number. Other people also agreed that as much as Jay has the right to talk about whatever he wants during his speech and defend his wife, it is a bad look when Bay has won so much already. I mean, he would have had a point if she was always snubbed for most awards, but that yeah. is far from reality. Some people also said that if Beyonce wrote the music and lyrics for an entire album, she would probably have a shot at winning. But as long as she keeps sampling other artists and needing 3,000 people to write the lyrics to one song, she's probably never going to win. Honey, a lot of people may not agree Damn. with Jay-Z saying that Beyonce deserves She'll to be win right album of the year, but we can all agree that he was right on one thing. Some people really did get robbed, and others didn't deserve to be in any category. Some of you, some of you gonna go home tonight and feel like you've been robbed. Some of you may get robbed. Damn. Some of you don't belong in the category. Oh, no, 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 that was it. No, when I get nervous, I tell the truth. I mean, y'all want to tell me that yeah, Lana Del Rey didn't win anything? Nothing at all? Oh, yeah, let's talk about this Killer Mike character. First of all, who the hell is Killer Mike? I don't even know. Bro, I ain't know who that man was to the day of the Grammys. I swear to God, I'm not making this shit up. I never heard of Killer Mike a day in my fucking life. That nigga won a Grammy. That nigga, what the fuck he won? I forgot what Grammy he won. I forgot what it was. Best rap song of the year or some shit. I don't fucking know what it was. But he won, bro. And I never heard of bro before. So I was thinking to myself, somebody had got snubbed. A, a fucking artist that we know very well. I forgot who the artist, who the rap artist was, but he had got snubbed for Killer Mike. And I was thinking like, bro, who the fuck is Killer Mike? And then Killer Mike got arrested probably like a couple hours after he won the award. So I was confused in the motherfucker, bro.
Well, Lana was robbed for sure. Anyway, awards aside, did y'all know that Jay-Z apparently canceled his Grammy brunch partly because of Diddy? Based on what the streets are saying, Jay-Z didn't know how to uninvite Diddy to the party. And because Damn. he couldn't just tell it to his face, he decided to cancel the party. Apparently, Diddy was planning on showing up to the party, and his plus one was supposed to be Clive Davis, who, oh, by the no. way, has made it very clear that he supports Diddy amidst everything that has been going on with him. But Jay-Z was like, uh, no, sir. Y'all are not dragging those freak off tails to my party. Allegedly, <laughs> Jay-Z no longer wants anything to do with Diddy. Cause as we have figured out, Diddy is a sinking ship and Jay wants nothing to do with it. Baby, it gets even juicier cause Blind Item said that Jay-Z created a whole other private party, one that did not have Diddy on the invite list. Child, if anything, Diddy should not be surprised that Jay-Z has cut him off. Are we not speaking about the same man who sold out and left his then business partner Dame Dash out of the Rockefeller Def Jam deal? The very same one who used Kanye West to revive his rap career and threw him to the wolves? Of course he was gonna cut off Diddy, who at that point is really a sinking ship. Speaking of Diddy, he was also not in attendance at the Grammys, even though he was nominated for Best Progressive R&B Album for his The Love Album, Off the Grid. Diddy's rep said that he would not be attending. Who listened to that shit? it look like it was his choice, it's possible that the organ organizers didn't want him there as well for obvious reasons. Allegedly, several key players, including several high profile African American members, feared that inviting him would send the wrong message to audiences and various charities. Reportedly, several publicists also asked that their artists not be seated next to him. And it was all Damn. just a logistical nightmare. That to what nothing to do with but Diddy, you know what? Yeah. Blind items are also saying that behind the scenes, Diddy is actually planning to take down as many people as he can with him. He's basically like, y'all want to uninvite me to parties and award shows and distance yourselves from me i am taking all of you down with me child if that is what diddy is cooking i am here nigga if D diddy bro that's a bad idea bro they ain't even they ain't even say shit yet they literally just throwing crumbs out there bro you know the shit they probably can say on you bro so if you try to bring people down you in the first of all you in the basement right now if you try to bring people down to the basement with you they gonna drag you to hell bro yeah, they gonna go lower than whale shit, nigga. You know the shit they can say? You know all the shit we've been hearing for years about you, my boy? All the grooming and up? Bro, they gonna tell your motherfucker, nigga, you better not try to expose nobody. You better be quiet. <laughs> nigga, cause they gonna say some shit about you. And then your whole career gonna be over with, bro. It's already damn near over with. Just imagine all the shit they can say, bro. So if you go back, if you try to go tit for tat, bro, you ain't gonna win. I promise you, so... You might as well sit this one out, Lord, bro. You know what I'm saying? But we finna get out of here, bro. If you enjoyed that reaction video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Turn on that post notification bell so you get notified. I got my number. Banger, bro. We finna get out of here, bro. Uh, yeah, y'all think Beyonce got snubbed? Y'all, who y'all think should have won? Beyonce or Taylor Swift? You know what I'm saying? It seemed like Beyonce y'all was getting, getting robbed by Taylor Swift, bro. Nigga, nigga uh, Kanye got on stage. Nigga said Beyonce had the best... Music video this year. <laughs> <coughs> that shit was crazy, bro. Taylor Swift ain't even look Celine Dion in the face. Ain't that her name? Celine Dion? I think that's how you say her name. But anyway, we finna get out of here, bro. Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. And I'm out of here, fam.